the plastics that's already in the ocean, and that's millions and millions of tons, they might remain there for 400 years, and we're adding millions of tons every year. So this is a problem that we're going to sit for for many, many decades, if not centuries. Uh, this project is about uh, the investigation of persistent organic pollutants, mercury and plastics in the Indian Ocean. What we're basically looking at is to see if the marine debris that's in the oceans, and there's about 3 to 10 million uh, tons of plastics entering the ocean every year, um, whether the circulating plastics is being scrubbed from the ocean by the islands, and specifically coral reef islands in the Indian Ocean. Now the persistent organic pollutants are picked up by the plastics as well as the mercury and then transported in concentrated form uh, on an oceanic scale. But when it gets into the beaches of the islands, it reconcentrates because we get a lot of the debris accumulating on uh, these beaches. The, the, the more and more small plastics you have, the bigger problems you will have. Because these plastics, big pieces break down in smaller and smaller pieces. So one piece becomes 10 pieces, 100 pieces, 1000 pieces and it all adds up. The small pieces of plastic also have system organic pollutants and mercury in them and that can then be transferred to humans that eat them. So there's quite a concern about that. Of course the same microplastics are also being taken up by fish and corals and so on and that's what we're going to investigate and uh, then see if the pollutants are being transferred from the plastic into these organisms. And we don't really know the, all the effects. Um, we have a number of reports out um, uh, regarding microplastics in the environment and the impacts on it, but much more work needs to be done. And that's part of the work that we're doing here at the moment. This project looked at, looks at the global aspects of waste management, because the waste and the debris that we pick up on the beaches of those islands come away thousands of kilometers away from uh, where they're actually being used and released. And these islands in the middle of nowhere now sit with the problem of accumulated waste and it might also affect the coral reefs and coral reef ecosystems in that island and we don't know. So this is a global scale sort of intervention that's needed. It's going to need the um, cooperation of civil society, governments and industry uh, because a lot of the plastics are single-use plastics, they end up in the ocean, we've seen lots of the stuff on the, on the beaches and um, if you don't do something about it on a big scale, then it's not going to have any impact on a local scale.